In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options uh, infographic slide with world map. And this is how the slide works. As we can see here, I have added this world map, which is uh, fully editable. And when I click, it will show you the first option where you can add the option number, the title and some icons here. When I click, it will show with a different color combination, the option two, three, four, five and the option six. I have created one more slide where I have just given a more bigger gap between these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. Uh, from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this circle hollow, click it here and height and width, I'm going to make it as 11.5 and 11.5. So we end up getting a shape something like this. And then I'm just going to put this in the center and make sure that this is aligned properly in the center. Let me just go at the top. You can see here it has been aligned in the center. All right. Now, depending on the requirement, you can adjust, adjust the width of the the oval shape now the oval shape i'm going to cut the bottom part for that let me just zoom out and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the bottom part of the circle select the circle hold the shift key select the rectangle go to merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to cut this into uh, six equal parts or depending on your requirement you can just change it for that go to insert shapes from the stars and banners i'm going to choose this 12 point star draw the 12 point star by holding the shift key and you can see the small orange point just drag this all right and then put this exactly in the center all right now let me just zoom out now i'm going to cut this based on this particular uh, sizes okay you can see here for that let me just zoom out a little bit go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color and then i'm just going to rotate by alt and the right arrow key and i'm going to put it one here press ctrl d to duplicate again alt and the right arrow key ctrl d so this will be straight again ctrl d and then this is the last one now i'm going to select this first and then you can delete this part i don't need this now now i'm going to select the shape hold the shift key select this uh, rectangles go to uh, shape format merge shape and just say fragment and then delete the unwanted text uh, sorry the the objects here and then delete this one also Control z if you have deleted this by mistake just again delete it you can see here have to just select and delete it right now our shape is ready now depending on the requirement you can uh, give some different uh, sizes and one more thing which you can do is you can again cut this into uh, from the top you can cut so you can give some different color for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape give some different color right mouse click go to format shape fill make it transparent shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to increase the size and i'm going to put it like this here and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center all right okay so now again i'm selecting these shapes and then again i'm going to merge shape make it fragment and delete the unwanted shapes here now this particular shapes i can just select and i can give a different color combination which is i can give a kind of a black color here and for this also first of all i'm going to make it no transparent zero transparency and then i can give any color of my choice depending on the requirement you can see here i can give some different color combinations 
so depending on that one you can just change the color combinations the way you want and let me just green color and then i will give uh, maybe a kind of a light blue yeah all right here this particular image is not an image is editable uh, uh world map i'm just copying and pasting or if you have some image you can also copy and paste it here and once this is done you need to add the text so let me just zoom out so go to insert text box and i'm going to say option 01 center align make it bold i'm going to use the font futura all right again if you want you can increase the size and bring it here i'm going to make the font as white all right and then go to the shape format text effects transform and i'm going to choose the arch and put it like this here all right if you want you can just increase the size like this and put it here so the option one press ctrl d move it aside rotate it and put it here again just make sure that it is properly aligned all right so you have to rotate it properly so this is the option two press ctrl d bring it here this is the option three ctrl d so you have to just copy this one and then just rotate it till you feel that this is perfectly fit into the circle okay so you can see here still we need to do a proper rotation and then i'm just going to put it here and then the last one let me just put it here for the option six all right so this is now i'm just going to change this to option two three four five and six all right and one more thing which you can add it here one more shape i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size and i'm going to give the same color which i've used here and then the shape outline i'm going to make it white and you can increase the weight all right and then i'm just going to put it here hold the control shift key add it to this side press control d to duplicate and then hold the control shift key add it here and then control d to duplicate all right and hold the control shift key and drag and drop it here so you can see here i've added six shapes a oval shape then go to insert icons and you can add any icons of your choice so i'm just randomly i'm just choosing some five uh, six different icons click insert and move it here i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 we can give some different color and later on you can change it so i'm just going to put it here one this is two this is three four five and this is six so now what you can do is you can just select this one by holding the shift key and graphic fill you can make it white so once this is done you can add some detailed text go to insert text box again add detail text here again center align you can go to the shape format shape effects 3d rotation sorry you have to go to the text effect sorry transform and select the follow path all right and you can reduce the size if you want you can just press the enter key here all right and then you can just add it and rotate it all right you can see here you need to rotate it properly and put it here press ctrl d to duplicate now and then you need to just copy and paste for all the options one by one so you can see here i have added uh, the text for all the options now it's time to group it so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select the text this options and the oval shape as well all right and then press ctrl g to group it 
and you can see here that oval has not been uh, grouped properly so that's the reason i have to uh, control z to undo this one all right and let me just select the oval shape as well and press ctrl g so you can see here it has been grouped so similarly you have to group for the rest of the options and once you group that one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select all these options you can see here by holding the shift key add animation more entrance effect click on stretch click ok and make it on click and then for each one if you want this one should start from right it should be like this and this also should come from right all right this one and this one should come from bottom and these two should come from left like that you need to do the animation and if i play the animation it looks something like this you can see here 